Today's vendor spotlight is PTZ Optics, and they're going to talk about how they're integrating NDI and auto tracking in education with their PTZ Optics cameras. Now, today we have a very special guest. We have Steve Haywood from uh, PTZ Optics. Now, Steve, normally I know you guys are used to me having Paul Richards on the show, and it's great to have him, but we wanted to change it up a little and get someone who can get a little more technical, a little more in the weeds on how this stuff works and things like that. So Steve's job is really to be a, 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 uh, a broadcast engineer. Give me the job description. Yeah, so basically I work with a bunch of different uh, departments, whether it's marketing, sales, uh, the product team, working with the products in ways that they can market it to different customers, sell it to different customers, help train those different departments on the actual features of the, of the product, um, and then also with the product team, testing it in real-world broadcasting environments to see how it performs, how it works. Uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Cool. Now, I know education-wise, you guys have done phenomenally. I mean, we were already selling a lot of your cameras into education. And then when the pandemic hit, you know, it made remote learning and remote teaching a reality. And like I always tell people, you know, in 2020, we got it done. In 2021, we made it better and easier. And there's no better example of that than you guys with the way you've taken NDI and auto tracking to the next level in education. So we've got some new stories we want to talk about. And the first story we're going to talk about is from Rosemont College. And what I want to do is I want to roll that video first and then afterwards let you and I discuss a little bit about how you integrate it into that. So let's roll the video, Adam. How have the PTZ optics cameras helped me to lead class for both in-person and remote students? Well, I don't think I could lead class for both in-person and remote students without them because I need the cameras to uh, keep everyone engaged and feeling connected. At any given time when I'm teaching, I do have students in person in the classroom, and I also have students coming into that same class through Zoom, through the big screen uh, at the front of the classroom. So I use the PTZ optics cameras to help the students to see one another, while we're having a class discussion to possibly, you know, using the camera in the back of the room, I can have the remote learners see me standing in the front of the room lecturing. If their classmates are speaking, I can use a different camera so that the remote learners can watch their classmates speaking. I definitely need those cameras to keep the remote and in-person students engaged in the one class. So you can see how this is a, a general setup for a classroom. Now, we've had some schools or universities and school districts where they've rolled out 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 cameras sometimes. So this is the real deal. and This is a big deal. So tell us about how this example and how NDI makes those classrooms even easier to set up. Yeah, with NDI, it gives you the ability to run video straight over the network, and it makes it uh, that much simpler for setting up. Uh, but in, in the example here of Rosemont, you know, they didn't just use the NDI, they were using SDI into some other devices that they had inside to help teach. And they were also using USB. So the versatility in our cameras, giving the ability to track and send it to multiple uh, areas or different pieces of software really adds benefit to the camera. Yeah. And now one of the things that I found is before the pandemic, a lot of the IT departments in schools really did not want to allow NDI and IP video because they were concerned about how it was going to mess up their whole system. But I think what everyone learned in the pandemic is you can properly set up your switches to, to only have the video go within a certain uh, IP, uh, IP level or zone or even a virtual VLAN within the building. There's so many ways to handle that there differently. But the thing I want to stress and I want you to confirm is that just because you're running video throughout a school or throughout a school district, throughout a university system, it's not going to affect the other IT pipes. That, that video can be easily isolated and kept to itself, correct? You know, 100%. So I'm currently working with our local high school right now. They have four PTZ optics cameras. And what I essentially did was I just have them plug directly into a network switch, which then goes directly into the network via Wi-Fi. So that way the IT department can control the IP addresses of the actual computer that's running a vMix or Wirecast on it. And then the IPs are static. So therefore, 
it's not affecting the network. It's within that little switch and all is well. And once again, the beauty of this is every network jack in the entire school ha now has the ability to have a PTC gamma plugged into it and to have it be operational either within that classroom or remotely from anywhere else within the university, within the VLAN, within the local network, using NDI, which also means if I have a PTZ camera in my classroom, and let's say I'm a third grade teacher and I have this really great lesson, I can share it with every third grade that has a network switch as well by using an NDI decoder hooked up to a television in that classroom. It's really that simple. Or hooked up to the smart board itself. Yeah, I think over time, I think people are starting to adapt it more. In the beginning, everybody was afraid that there was going to be quality loss. I run a TC1 here in my studio from TriCaster, from New Us Tech. Too. And every source that I'm running, even the camera that I'm sending to you right now is over NDI. I'm not using SDI anymore. And I was from the old school where SDI was king and that you, if you wanted the best quality, use SDI. But honestly, NDI is where it's at right now. And I want to stress that, you know, for education, I think it's more about flexibility and about being able to do it easily and manage it than having, you know, this isn't broadcast. So, you know, I don't think schools have SDI in them anyway, but it's a good point to make. You know, I think they're mainly using HDMI kind of cameras and stuff. But let's go into the really cool thing that you guys have, and that is the Huddle Cam Simple Track 2. Now, we've been selling that for years, and, and that's a really nice camera for $3,000, and it will auto track the teacher as the teacher or professor moves around the classroom. That product previously did not have NDI, but now it does. In fact, and one of the things I want to stress before we talk about that product is if you have an older one for $399, you can now upgrade the firmware to NDI, which is a really great deal. It's a hundred dollars cheaper than it was, you know, a month ago. And I think that's a great thing. So talk about, well, you know, let's do the same thing we did last time. Let's roll, I believe, do, let's roll the video that we have of the simple track to auto tracking and lecture capture. Where the school has innovated a lecture capture and online learning system that is sure to amaze. The technology in use includes the new HuddleCam HD Simple Track 2 auto tracking cameras used to automate camera operation for lecture capture. The technology team at the Weatherhead School of Management has streamlined the process of capturing high definition video recordings of classroom presentations so that teachers only have to focus on making a great presentation. In order to do this, the team schedules the Echo 360 video management platform to automatically record each class during the semester. Because many of the classrooms are equipped with the HuddleCam HD auto tracking camera, the recorded videos automatically follow each teacher and remain zoomed in to the whiteboard spaces where they are teaching. Students and teachers have noticed a significant increase in quality with the auto tracking cameras versus the manually operated cameras that used to be controlled by student workers. Steve, talk a little bit more about those HTTP controls and hot zones specifically for education because that's a really cool feature that your cameras have. Yeah, depending on what piece of software or hardware you're using, you can set up preset zones within the simple track too. And if you have a macro set where you want to zoom into a specific area on a blackboard, a whiteboard, uh, to really engage the student students remotely, you have that ability within the simple track too in the software. It's just as simple as drawing a box and putting a check mark next to the preset zone and then putting in the URL from your specific software or hardware that's setting up the macro. It's really simple. So in essence, if I have a piece on the blackboard that I want to go, I walk to the backboard, I tap that spot, and the camera's going to make zoom on that spot rather than on me. How does it know it, to come now, back to me? Well, it, it, it's, it's all how you have the, the macro set up. In fact, um, I have a macro set up where I can walk to a certain area of my video rack. Like if I'm doing the end of a show and I want to get intimate with my audience and I'm using my wireless mic, I walk to that specific area, it brings down my lower third, it'll fade me to black, run my outro, and then kill the audio and stop the recording. That's how the macro is set up to do it. Awesome. Steve, I'm going to tell you what, on a separate show, we're going to bring you back, and we're going to do a show on macros. How does that sound? That sounds good. I use them a lot. So, like, as you stated, you can manually control this if you want to use it as a standard PTZ camera. Uh, but there's two presets that you want to pay attention to in this. Preset zero, which is your stage camera, uh, your, your stage preset, if you will, the, the, the distance of the whole stage. And then you have a preset one that you want to set, which is usually like you're seeing with me right now, your head and shoulder 
uh, shot. Yeah. And basically what that, that reference camera, there's a reference camera on the front of, of the unit that will actually track your movement. In education especially, I know one of the things that uh, is important is the ease of use and the ability to manage things, you know, from out, that the teacher can easily set it up, get it started and use it. So one of the things that's beautiful about your PTC cameras is they, they work with everything, correct? It can be working with uh, uh, Teams, Google Meet, uh, uh, Zoom, or it can be integrating into uh, any kind of mixer, OBS, vMix, TriCaster, you name it, correct? Correct. All right, Steve, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Now, what I like to do every time I have a guest on is I always like to give you the last word. So think about it a little bit, and the floor is yours. Talk about anything you want, about PTZ Optics, about video streaming and education, about NDI, NDI November. We're educating people about how this stuff works, and today's segment is specifically for educators. So take it away, Steve. Well, I, I think I'd just like to say um, if you're scared or nervous about NDI, now's the time. NDI November, get in there. Give it a shot. Start updating your cameras if you have them. If you don't, now's the time to look into an NDI camera and uh, give it a whirl. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the quality and see how great your picture and production can be. Awesome. And you know what? We've got a little time left, so I'm going to talk about your cameras. We've got PTZ cameras that are 12x, 20x, or 30x, which refers to the distance you can be from the stage or the front of the room. We've got box cameras, which simply do zoom. We've got the huddle cam. Uh, auto tracking camera, and then we've got webcams that are available in HD and 4K also. So if you give us a call as, as a teacher, as an IT person for a school or as a director of technology, we can help you put together the right mix of PTZ optics cameras for whatever your solution is. Your solution could be one camera in one classroom, or it could be 50 cameras throughout your whole district. We've got the ability to help you with that. And if it's tricky or tough like that, guess who I'm calling first, young man? <laughs> 